I'm Natalie Chan Zin Chi, and I'm here to present my video on code switching. Code switching is a technical term in communication that refers to the phenomenon of changing languages, dialects, or even accents. Reasons why people code switch 1. To accommodate other speakers 2. To avoid accommodating others 3. To express another aspect of their cultural identity 4. Do it unconsciously 5. To convey thoughts 6. To share secrets 7. To substitute a word. Lastly, to express a concept that does not have exact equivalent in other languages. Advantages of being bilingual and multilingual People who are bilingual and multilingual, their brain tends to be more active compared to people who aren't. They also have a better worldwide perspective. In addition, they have good listening skills. Last but not least, they can connect with others better. Yes, I do code switch in a multicultural setting because uh, one, my lizard brain take over, which is I do it unconsciously. Two, is because I want to share a secret um, in, um, to someone because not all like, um, people I want to share my secrets to. So I code switch to another language um, that only me and my friend understands. And three, is to convey a thought. Because not all languages have a correct word or the exact emotions that I want to convey, so I could switch to a more suitable language that can convey my thoughts clearly. Lastly, which is the fourth one, is to fit in to make myself feel comfortable with other people. Because um, sometimes when you do not speak a language, some people around you will not feel comfortable. So you code switch to make them feel comfortable and yourself comfortable in that cultural, in that multicultural setting. Why people do not switch codes even in a multicultural setting? One, they feel that they aren't being respectful. Their shyness takes over. They choose to do so because they want to avoid overloading of information. It is only appropriate for the bilingual person to code switch when they want to improve social relationships. Second, when their talking partner is doing so. Third, is when they want to limit the language barrier.